Hey guys, how you doing? It's me again. I'm reviewing another work on product. Uh, this time it's a pre-release version of the Mobile Studio Pro. This is the brand new tablet uh, drawing tablet, uh, mobile drawing tablet that they've just released. They shipped me a uh, an advanced uh, unit. And uh, I guess this is embargoed till Wednesday, so you're probably going to be watching this on Wednesday. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty excited because I didn't really know they were working on this until about a month before they brought it out. I assume they're always working on stuff, but what they did was they listened to all the feedback that you gave them from the Cintiq Companion and the hybrids and all that stuff, and they've just gone out and made this insanely light, lightweight, really impressive bit of tech. Um, I guess it's kind of an answer to the iPad Pro, but it's way, way, way better than the iPad Pro. Um, and I say that having only used the iPad Pro once. Uh, and I'm an Apple guy, but these guys know what they're doing with drawing tablets. That's all they do. So they're really good at it. Um, really impressive specs on the tablet. It runs Windows, unfortunately, but what are you going to do? Um, it's running an Intel Core i7 chip. Uh, it's 13.3 inches diagonally. Uh, that is, yeah, so it's 33.78 centimeters. That's tiny. And it's crazy how much tech they're fitting into that tiny space. Uh, it's, it's got a 512 gig uh, SSD hard drive in there, uh, 16 gig of RAM, couple of cameras, um, an Intel Iris Graphics 550 video card. In the box, obviously the tablet with the uh, shortcut keys and the rocker ring, uh, usual stuff that you would expect. Some interesting little uh, colored rings for your stylus, which is a new thing that looks pretty interesting. Uh, I'll show you those in a bit. Uh, obviously the power cable, um, this is the adapter that you are going to be plugging it into uh, to charge it. Didn't take that long, the battery battery life is really really good. This is a weird cigar thing that I'll figure out what it is in a minute. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what it is. Lucky they wrapped it in plastic in case uh, I go underwater. I don't know what this thing is. Um, this is a little clip thing. I don't know what it is, I'll figure it out. Uh, this. Over here is the stylus. It's the same as every other stylus, really. Same thickness. Uh, there's two buttons on it, as usual, as the same product since 2001, I guess. <laughs> Everything has the buttons on it. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got... Uh, oh, yeah, this little side package. I forgot. Um, that just has the power cord and a little wipey thing to clean your screen. A little screen. Oh, yeah, everyone needs a screen cleaner. Um, and, yeah, so uh, if we take this part and we plug it into the adapter part and then we charge it then we can use it uh yeah plug it into that let's do it now there's three ports you can plug the um the thing into the the, the charging i don't know why maybe there'll be other adapters later so anyway they got these three um i'm just gonna plug it into the left one and uh it took like 10 minutes and it charged it right up really quickly I don't know if that's normal. Uh, this is a brand new unit and it's on firmware like 1.0, so I'm not e expecting it to just work perfectly out of the box, but it, it did. <laughs> this is the strange thing. It just turned on and it worked. Um, very refreshing. I don't know what that other little slot is to the left there. I'll figure that out. Super, super, super light. This thing, I, I wouldn't mind lugging this around. See, the Cintiq 12WX was too heavy. It had a power cable thing with it. The, even the Cintiq Companion Hybrid's pretty heavy tech, but this is really light, and I am, I'm really amazed at how much tech they've just... I guess every year everything gets smaller, so... Uh, yeah. You've got your rocker ring, you've got six uh, shortcut keys, which I use constantly, so I'm glad they kept that. And there's not a remote with this. Uh, <laughs> it's not that I'm not a fan of the remote, I just don't really use it. Uh, camera on the back, 8 megapixels. Uh, camera on the front is 5 megapixels, which is handy, you know, so you can just use it as a tablet, you can do video conferencing, video calls, um, it's got a 3D, uh, yeah, that's an interesting thing, uh, 3D Intel RealSense and Artec 3D camera, so that's actually pretty cool as well. Uh, you've got a card slot for any, uh, stuff you want to plug in, you've got the power, and that's, uh, volume on the left. These things here, I've never seen these before. I assume it's just to make your uh, styluses more interesting. I think what it is, I think the idea behind it is, uh, you know, if you've got a bunch of different styluses with different nibs, uh, you don't want to lose these. Uh-oh, all right, that's gone forever. You don't want to lose these. Uh, <laughs> but, um, I guess if you have different styluses with different nibs on them, 
you can you can just do different colors for each uh, stylus and then you know which nib is on each stylus without having to closely look and check which nib is each one because i know a lot of people who have various styluses uh they have different nibs and they've got art pens they've got the classic nib uh you've got like a felt tip nib on a classic pen and then a, a regular stylus with a, a different brush pen. everyone works differently so i assume that's what these little rings are for it's it it separates it out and makes it look different from all your other styluses I lose these all the time. I'm a terrible person. Anyway, that's what the stylus looks like with the new little ring on it. Isn't that great? Uh, what else? This is the little cigar thing. I didn't know what this was initially. I was a little uh, confused, but then I realized, oh, this is to transport your stylus in, and then you open the top, and it's got all the nibs in it. That's pretty cool. And it's like that, uh, like the little stand that you used to get with a with a Cintiq or a, or a Intuos. And yeah, see the other nibs, they've got like a little nub thing on the end. They're a little bit different than the other nibs. So this is like a new stylus uh, for this range. And yeah, the nibs have that little nub thing on the end. I like the felt tip nib, personally. I use that instead of the default clicky plastic one. You open this up and yeah, it's a little compartment for your stylus. That's pretty cool. So you don't just throw the pen in your backpack and then it gets damaged with all that tech in the pen. Uh, I've done that before. Uh, yeah, so you put it in, and then close it up, and then, yeah, it's nice and safe. That's pretty cool. I like that. I think that's a great little invention. Surely that came from someone dropping their pen in the toilet or something. Uh, I'm glad they invented that. Uh, what else have we got? Alright, so, I'm gonna turn it on. This thing booted really fast. It boots into Windows. Again, you're never gonna have iOS or OS X on these things, so just get used to using Windows. I know, I'm an Apple guy, I prefer Apple, but whatever. Uh, it has all, it runs all the software, I mean, the, the Intel chip, you, you're able to run Photoshop, you're able to run After Effects, you're able to run, you know, Illustrator, and uh, Premiere Pro, and Sketchbook, and Painter. You can literally, just anything you can run on Windows, you can run anything you can run on Windows 10, you can run on this. So, it's a mobile computer, that's what it is. I'm not a huge fan of uh, on-screen keyboards, but I turn it on, I hooked it up to my Wi-Fi. Um, again, I said this is firmware 1.0, uh, but I was still able to just pair my Bluetooth keyboard. I use a Logitech uh, Bluetooth keyboard with multiple switches so that if I'm using it uh, on various devices, I can just switch between the devices I'm using the keyboard on, you know, laptop, iPad, thing, just by pressing the different buttons. I can just switch back to the Cintiq by pressing the button and pairing it. Uh, the drawing, the important bit, guess what? It's really, really, really fast. There's no lag at all. Um, it's super, super fast. The process is great. Um, the palm rejection, uh, I'll be honest, there was a little firmware bug, but they fixed it. So yeah, there was, <laughs> the palm rejection is fantastic. The, uh, the touch you can turn off if you want. Uh, you can turn that on and off depending on what you're using. I can sketch on this, I can do finished art on this, I can do inking, I can do anything. It is a complete package. You don't need to plug a laptop into this. It's a, it's, its own mobile Cintiq. So th this is it. This is the, um, I guess this is the next level lighter version of the Cintiq Companion. I really like it. I'm enjoying it. Uh, we're going to release it on Wednesday. Really hope you guys are there to see it. Um, I'm going to turn comments off, I'm afraid, uh, for this one because... I don't know enough about it to answer all your questions, and last time I did that for the Cintiq Companion Hybrid, I got asked the same 12 questions 400 times. So if you have any questions, go to Wacom.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps some of you considering buying this particular product. Have fun, happy drawing.